story we're following today. The Memphis man charged in connection with the killing of four year old Sequoia Samuels was a no show in court this morning, but his attorney was there telling the judge more time is needed to go over evidence before moving forward. WRG's Jarita Patterson has reaction from the defense regarding what evidence still needs to be reviewed. It is a case dating back to the middle of June 2023 when four year old Sequoia Samuels was reported missing by her mother. It wasn't long after the missing report was filed when Sequoia's own mother, Brittany Jackson, was arrested and charged with more than just causing her daughter to disappear, but charged with the little girl's death. Jackson was not the only one charged with Sequoia's grisly killing after Jackson pointed the finger at her boyfriend Jalen Hobson, who Jackson claims beat the child before putting Sequoia's body in garbage bags inside their North Memphis house. What you see here are the more than half a dozen felony charges. Hobson is now facing the most serious first degree murder. His attorney Michael Scholl telling us the defense is still sifting through lots of evidence. We got a lot of documents, a lot of video. Uh, what you also get is you get body cam video, those types of things at the crime scene. Uh, there were multiple jail calls that were turned over to us. More than 2000 jail calls, attorney Scholl explained. Hobson was not in court Monday, but his attorney was asking the judge for more time as there's a lot that remains unknown to include whether Brittany Jackson, who appeared pregnant during one of her last court appearances, was carrying Hobson's child. I can't address those issues at this time. We could learn much more November 15th as both the prosecution as well as the defense both have been ordered back to court to inform the judge if they're ready to proceed or if more time is needed. We'll certainly keep you updated. Reporting for your news leader inside the CJC, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Jarita, for that.